morning friends and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is Holly with the Nestle Valley Farmhouse so today I want to take you along I am going to do a another I guess kind of thrifty homemaking kind of ways we save money and this week is going to be all about doing a pantry shop week so I know a lot of people especially in like the beginning of January they like to do like a shop my pantry for the month and I really liked that concept but number one January was just like too crazy and I like in all honesty I'm not 100% comfortable like doing a whole month pantry shop because I know like things come up and it's it's just harder for me to wrap my brain around so I've decided to do a weekly pantry shop and I'm actually wondering if this works out well enough to do it like once a month like do it for a week a month so basically kind of the whole pantry shop concept is that you only buy or you only yeah you basically only use stuff that's out of your pantry so to speak and so um, what I am planning on doing is right now I'm just tidying up a little bit and doing a little bit of laundry but I believe that um, I like the concept of it and I definitely have a lot of stuff that like I need to really get um, figured out like like you know just kind of going through a lot of your like older stock things because I'm trying to get better at having like a rotating stock of um, like of my pantry and stuff so but I just wanted to try to do it for a week see how we do so the way kind of our um, like our weeks are kind of set up is we generally have kind of one week every month that's kind of on the tighter side it's normally the week we pay our house payment because of course our house payment is our highest bill and how I kind of make it more manageable is I tend to break it up into little chunks. Each week we pay like X percentage of the house payment. So that way by the time it's due, we have all the money kind of set aside. But as usual, things like kind of happen, things change. And I end up, sometimes we dip into the kind of that, that amount. So like when it comes to the week, it's normally just a tighter week. So I'm starting off with making some Greek yogurt bagels again. I have found these to be a really good breakfast. All my kids like them, which is amazing. So they're probably gonna be a staple in our house, but really easy. I should probably like give you guys the, whatchamacallit, the recipe. I'll try to link it below. But, um, so I really like the idea of like doing, just kind of shopping my pantry once a week or for a week, once a month. So that's kind of the concept that I'm looking into. So basically, um, I decided to, yeah, so we're gonna have breakfast first and I decided to kind of make this week kind of the week that we pay that kind of big house payment, kind of the week we do this because as a general rule, I don't spend, like I don't want to spend a lot of money this week because we generally have a lot of bills. So um, yeah, I feel like a lot of people also will do like these challenges where they'll like try to spend like less than $50 for like their week of groceries. And so that's kind of, I'm kind of piggybacking on this because Obviously, like when it comes to shopping the pantry, I don't think I can do a hundred percent without because like there's things that we need like milk, of course, we get that every week. But I want to see like how la how low I can keep like our grocery budget this week. At least that's kind of my goal. So I'm cutting the bagels into six because that's how many it makes. And I feel like they're just a good enough size to have a nice little bagel. The kids love them and they make a really easy breakfast for us. So I'm kind of excited and nervous about this week. I don't know like how it's gonna go, but I decided to wait until today because normally I meal plan like the week like the week prior for like the current week. I ended up not doing that. Also I'm a dork. This is the only like brush I have that I can brush things on and is our big um, what do they call it? The outdoor grill brush. So that's what I use to put my egg wash on because I haven't bought a new brush and it works just as well. So <laughs> I always feel like I look so silly doing that but that's how we do it. But basically this week I um, I didn't do any meal planning and so I'm going to run out to my freezer and in my pantry and just kind of do a quick quick mini inventory of what's going on kind of where we're at with things also because I'm planning on doing a um, I know I have a bunch of vegetables that I want to get used up so I'm actually gonna make two 
soup-like meals this week. And so I decided to make some chicken broth. So when I processed our chickens last um, end of summer, early fall, I actually like cut off the chicken breasts and then the leg quarters because I use the leg quarters a lot and then I left the rest of the chicken um, and I put that in the freezer for basically stock. So it's got the wings still on it because we don't really eat chicken wings separately. And so I basically did that. I poured it with water, put some seasonings in it, and I put it in my crock pot on high for eight hours. And it made really decent broth. And so generally every couple weeks I'm doing that because I, I get about three quarts of broth using the crock pot method. And I go through it because like I said, I have chicken every week. So here's breakfast, just some scrambled eggs and some bagels. And so it was really quick and easy. So I'm running out to my freezer right now and I am just doing a quick little inventory of like what I have because my plan is to and I on the side there I'm kind of writing like meal ideas of like what I know I have and what I see. So um, I'm kind of going through so like our top shelf and there's kind of miscellaneous stuff like when we find I think I have some like Asian style like steam buns in there and like the just like a few odds and ends and some I've cut up some zucchinis from last fall and put them in the freezer because I really like zucchini. And you know when you get like these giant zucchinis from people <laughs> at the end of fall, I just was like, you know what, I, I shredded a bunch of it and I also cut a diced up a bunch of it to throw in for, for basically this very reason to kind of use in the future. Just doing a really quick inventory and then I'm gonna help, that is going to help me kind of make my meal plan for this week because I have not done that yet. All right, so I'm just putting the bagels away that we did not eat. And I don't know, I need to probably start double batching this because I could probably make these every single morning. <laughs> trying to drink my coffee while it's still warm and trying to remember what I was supposed to do next. And now I remember, okay. Now it's time to sit down and have a little, so I use this little, I don't know, I got it off of Amazon. It's really great. It has basically the week and then it has a grocery shopping list that you can actually tear off and take to the store if you wanted to on the other side. So I've started um, putting like the dates along with because sometimes I just want to keep a, a good like remember like what date and um, what day of the week it is so that I can have it. And I always plan out breakfast, lunch and dinner. Our breakfasts and lunches are always about the same and I still had plenty of stuff but I think I did change up a couple of our lunch items this this week because um, right now I've just written down all the dinners so basically we're just gonna do some really simple dinners like spaghetti chicken and rice soup um, we're doing a sheet pan steak dinner and chili with dried beans is another one that I'm excited I don't make it that very often but I'm gonna make it because obviously it's a good way to use up dried beans so I'm gonna get dishes cleaned up from breakfast real quick as well I'm kind of getting ready for like the next thing um, so with the kind of pre-planning everything and the way I normally do it is I really like having like a rotating stock and I kind of like the idea of doing this like once a week I normally have like my monthly menu plan and that's what I work off of and I generally try to plan my monthly menus like when it's time to plan which it will be in probably a week or so by the time this video goes out it'll probably be a time for me to start planning my March menu plan I do try to take into account the um, whatchamacallit the like my rotating stock but the nice thing is you know I always have a ton of flour I always have all like the baking the basic baking ingredients and so what I generally do is I will do um, like I can make my own bread I don't I used to make my own bread a lot more often I kind of got away from it part of the reason was because actually my kids are weird and picky and sometimes like they just wouldn't eat it so then it would go bad and so I would just and it was obviously like it wasn't the best quality bread but it was always just quicker and easier to go buy it from the store but now I'm working on getting um, so this week I'll probably be baking some bread probably later in the week when I do a little update on it and just kind of giving an idea of like what like how the week is going. I think I'm gonna do one more video, maybe give you like an update on like how the week has gone and just to kind of let you know like how I'm doing because I'm excited to try this, I'm excited to do this. And so I'm just gonna do some quick, just doing some household chores today. Like today's Monday, so it's kind of my catch up from the weekend day. I'm trying to be a lot better about like actually resting on Sunday. <laughs> this last Sunday was kind of crazy. We ended up, um, Isaac was working he ended up working out of town on Sunday, so I was kind of solo. And so it was it was fine, but it just means that it's not as restful as I'd like it to be. So, so I'm excited to try this. And I already have it in my mind, like, um, 
kind of going through like just a few things that I might want to get used up this week and all that kinds of things. So I'm doing a lot of um, sheets laundry yesterday. So I have pretty much all the sheets down here, which was something I wasn't planning on doing, but I decided to do it because it was just time and I needed to get some sheets washed. So I'm folding these up real quick and just kind of getting, I think I only ended up with like two loads of laundry on Mondays. Normally some Mondays I end up with like three or four, just depending on how busy the weekends are. But we actually were like, I actually did a good job staying on top of it last week. Cause I do find when I'm like on top of laundry, I'm able to like only have to do one, maybe two loads a day. And I do it about four days a week. And then the rest of the time I'm, I'm not. So that's kind of what I try to do. So. And so little one is just hanging out with me while I do laundry, which is always nerve wracking because I love her to death, but she'll like wanted to grab the clothes and like take them apart because she thinks it's funny. And I'm all like, stop it, goofy goober. So for me, because um, I am not able to really work outside the home right now, I think, I feel like for me, it's a lot easier for me to try to find ways to just save money. And of course, our grocery budget is probably the one place that we can, I guess, play with a little bit. But as usual, like things are getting, are, well, they're just, ex they're just expensive. Things are getting more expensive every day, it feels like. So I'm really looking forward to trying to maybe doing this once a week as another way just to Cause I get stressed, I get worried about like finances and stuff and just the, the, the fact that prices are going up so quickly, not enough for me to feel like we can prepare as quickly as we wanted to. So I feel like trying to be proactive and doing like weeks like this where I'm focusing on um, using what I already have or just using, you know, just trying to do like cheaper meals or simpler meals. It just really helps me kind of calm down like that anxiety that I tend to have. So that's good. All right, so one of the last things I'm going to do today is I um, found two like half done bags of, they were like almost empty bags of like blueberries in my freezer. And so I decided to make another batch of blueberry zucchini muffins. These are a huge family favorite. And I find that one of the things that helps me too, like just having like quick breakfasts. So I decided to make these and they work well for snacks too. Like as long as the kids eat them, I'm good because they have zucchini in them and then they have the blueberries in them and they're relatively, relatively healthy snack or breakfast. So I ended up using up that because I'm trying to use up my goal is to try to get like a lot of this, like, just like I said, those kind of small little odds and ends things kind of used up out of my freezer so I can make room. So probably in a week or two, I'll probably buy some more frozen blueberries so I can just move on and like continue to rotate the stock. I'm trying to be really better. It's another way that I try to like not be wasteful because I want to learn how to cook, you know, certain things. I actually have something that I need to look into. I actually have some clams that we had some friends that went clamming and they got us a bunch of clams about a year ago and they're in my deep freeze. And I think I need to just find a recipe and just learn how to make clam chowder with them because that's just another thing. Like I said, I want to use up. I don't want to be wasteful. And so this is just kind of, and it's a learning curve for me. And there's the blueberries looking all delicious. It's something that I'm really trying to be better about. And also I feel like I'm just learning to be more creative with like what you have in your pantry and in your freezer. And then it's a lot easier to kind of get new stuff or a lot easier to kind of see where you're at. Cause we're already like, we processed our chickens last, um, was it September? Like late August, early September. I don't hundred percent remember. And we're already about halfway done. And so the goal is to try to process or to get chickens sooner this year. And it kind of gives me a better idea of like how much chicken we actually eat in the year. I feel like since I like divided them up, um, like I said, I have the stock, I have the chicken breast separately. I have the leg quarters separately. I've actually been able to use more than what I was um, expecting. And I'm using, I'm going through them a lot better, which I'm really happy about. So the muffins are done. I had to do a quick check to make sure, but they smell amazing. And I'm just like so excited to relax and enjoy them. So thank you guys so much for coming along with me. If you have any tips or tricks on how to shop your pantry, please leave them in the comment box below. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.